Okay, this is a video about uh, possible cheating by this uh, user called uh, Space C Zero R Three. Just shot through smoke there. Immediately targeting the target tank. Um, instant aiming. So it's probably using what you call an aim bot, which is a piece of software that interprets the information that War Thunder client gets from the server. It automatically aims you at the target. It's probably using other cheats as well. Okay, but there again, you saw how quickly he aimed. Now that might be just good aiming, but he does this a lot. And sometimes it's almost impossible how quickly he aims. Look here, he can, it's as long as you can see the label, when he aims, he shoots straight away. Now this is a replay of a realistic battle. In realistic battles, you don't see the labels. You only see the labels in the replay. So in real life, you're not supposed to see the labels. Now he automatically aims at the center of the vehicle. I think the aimbot targets the center of the target vehicle. Now he's looking on the right because you can probably see a label through the trees. You can see he's targeting the label there and he shoots immediately. But um, the target vehicle is behind a hill, so he's actually shooting into the ground. Although he's aiming at the center of the vehicle through the hill. So now I'm actually in that vehicle that he's shooting at. And I can't see him because it's through the bush. He can't see me either. So now here you can, you can see just a bit of me. But notice how when he goes in the gunner view, I'm in the bushes, but he still shoots through the bushes immediately at the center of my vehicle. And now he's moving around. And again, after moving around, he can straight away aim at me, although he cannot see me the whole time. It's the aimbot aiming for him. He keeps his gun pointed straight at my vehicle. Yeah, I saw him, so I took a shot, but I just glanced off the top of his uh, of his tracks over there. You can see he's moving and he's tracking me while he's moving, and he can't see me through the bushes. Now I'm moving. You can see I'm moving in the replay because my label is moving, but in realistic battle, you're not supposed to be able to see the label. And now look, I'm moving and he's still tracking me behind the bushes. And he keeps doing this, and I, I can. S I take a pot shot at the direction that I saw his gun smoke at. But of course, I miss because I can't see him. But he can, he can see me, and he can auto aim. At least you can see my label, I can auto aim using the aim bot sheet. And uh, another player finishes me off there. So he didn't get the kill, but he probably got an assist on that. Okay, this is another game, Carpathians, realistic battle. And again, watch how he automatically aims at the distant enemy players behind those rocks. You're right, at just coming out of the spawn the other side of the map. See he's shooting over them, because the aimbot can target them. You notice the there's a smoke screen now, and he can't possibly have seen, you know, the the tanks in the smoke screen. You look at the blue label on the right. Panzer 38, it's moving around inside the smoke. It's moving behind cover inside the smoke, and he can't see that, but you can see the label, and you can auto aim at it. So he machine guns at it, he shoots at it, and then he machine guns at it. But he doesn't hit it because it's behind some kind of structure there, behind a hill. And now the smoke clears, he manually aims. See, he, the auto aim aims at the center of the vehicle, but he manually corrects it to aim at the exposed turret. Auto aim will aim at the center of the vehicle that is behind that uh, behind that berm there, but he uh, then manually corrects it to aim at the turret. Yeah, 
in auto aim in the center and then manually correct. The aim bot is doing the auto aim. Um, but he saw um, tunnel vision on that that he doesn't notice there's also tanks up on the hill until it's too late. Okay, now another Eastern Europe realistic battle. Okay, now look at this. Automatically he aims at the enemy vehicles behind the houses. And then when he zooms up he sees that Puma. And this um, this vehicle has a slower turret traverse. So the auto aim is not as quick. Because it also depends on the turret traverse, I guess. But still he manages to finish that one off straight away. Yeah, that, that may not be a very obvious use of the auto aim, but keep watching. Okay, it's as though he can see the labels. Okay, this is realistic battle, you shouldn't be able to see the labels, but look at this. You can see that there's a tank over there, so he shoots at it to test whether he can reach it with this gun. He uses machine gun to, to check whether it's got a clear line of fire. And now he can see the tank. It aims at the center of the tank, uh, that's what the aim bot does, so he hits the gun. Again, straight at the center of the tank. Okay, let's skip forward a bit, and now he can, it's as though you can see the labels of the enemy tanks on the hill on the right. And look at that, that tank is so far away, it's behind a house, behind some trees. He can't see it, but he aims at it using the aim bot fires and it hits it in the middle. That's humanly impossible. That's that's cheating using an aim bot. Let's skip forward now. You can see, it's as though you can see the labels of the two verbal winds behind the building. So he sets up an ambush to ambush them as they come around the corner here. He, you can see that they're coming and so he aims at the corner. It was moving so he didn't hit the center. He hit the back of that one. He auto aims again. Okay, now he switches to the other one. There's so much smoke, but he's using the auto aim to aim at it, but it's behind the dead body of the verbal wind, so he can't hit the os wind. Okay, his turret ring is jammed. His horizontal turret traverses jam, so I guess he has to repair or something. But eventually the Oswin does finish him off, as you will see shortly. So with the when your turret ring is jammed, uh, the aim bot isn't that useful. So the, uh, the player manages to kill him, and then he respawns as this play. Now in the play, he also uses uh, the cheats. Okay, in realistic battles, you can't see the labels of the um, enemy players. You can see the chevrons that pop up when other players spot them. But even with a chevron popping up, normally a real human pilot would have to scan the ground around the chevron because the chevron is not doesn't show the exact location of the uh, of the spotted vehicle. Watch what happens once he decides to go for that ground target. Okay, look, look at the mouse. Look how it moves. Okay, eventually he's going to lock it onto that uh, that ground target there. Okay, from so far away, he shouldn't be able to see it. Okay, maybe he might he might just say, okay, he's locked onto this one. Look, see, it automatically locks onto it. Okay, now he loops back around again, and it's gonna make a. Okay, that, that tanky shot that got killed, so it's gonna make a pass on the uh, on the last remaining enemy tank. He shouldn't be able to see it. it's behind buildings, but he shoots it through the buildings. 
you know, I mean, a real human pilot would not be able to see that through the buildings. This is realistic battle, not arcade mode, where you might be able to see labels. Watch this bit now. He loops around. And watch how he automatically tracks straight onto it. You watch the mouse, watch the mouse cursor. See that's the aim bot trying to uh, aim, aim him up and he manages to shoot it. So that with the aim bot, uh, you become very good as a plane shooting ground vehicles. You also become very good as a ground vehicle shooting planes, which you will see in some of the uh, other replays. Okay, now this one is in Japan and it's coming up on the central temple with the A point. Auto A while moving and he manages to shoot the tank in the middle. Using the aim bot, you can even fire while moving. Okay, he uses the aim bot. Fires at the center of that tank. He's looking around because he can probably see the labels through the buildings. He, he, he may have seen that Puma going off to the right, but he can also see through that roof and through those trees. He can see the label because he's got some kind of cheat that allows him to either see labels or to see the outline of the vehicle or something like that. I'm not sure what exactly he sees, but obviously he, he can somehow see that Puma behind that, uh, that roof. And he's going to auto aim at it using the aim bot. Look at this. Aims at the center, shoots it without seeing it through that uh, building and shoots it right in the center. And again, he's auto aiming at it through the building, so he can't see it. You can see a little bit of it there, but he aims at the center and finishes it off. while moving it was a case of, I don't know I mean most players can't shoot that accurately while they're moving so I, I suspect he's using the aim bot even though it's such close range so you're automatically instantly aiming at the center of the vehicle Now there's uh, some enemy vehicles coming up from the spawns, they probably respawn or something. And he can probably see the labels or he can somehow see them coming but he decides to shoot at the plane. Now the aimbot, um, it looks as though the aimbot also lets you target planes. But he doesn't, uh, he doesn't have the gun elevation to get it in that instance. This one he does, I think, shoot down one or two planes, and it's probably using the help of the aim bot. So he decides to get a higher vantage point to shoot at the vehicles. Um, oh, he sees an enemy vehicle there. He aims and shoots it straight away. He also aimed at a vehicle behind a hill there and shot at it without even looking in its direction but it was behind a hill. Now he can... it's as though he can see the vehicles coming up the road from their spawn. As we can see on the minimap in the replay. Of course in, in the real realistic battle you wouldn't be able to see all these icons on the minimap. 
know when you see the labels. But in the replay you can see all this. This is a server replay. See, he auto aims and uses his machine gun to test and see whether he's got a line of uh, fire on that label. Nice. Auto aiming on that one and he manages to shoot, shoot one of the crew in the stern panzer. This is probably manually aiming because on the stock you have to aim to the right of the gun, not in the center. He has decided to show another replay now. Spiels of Normandy and he's coming up to the C point. Okay, this one is where you see a lot of very blatant auto aiming using the aim bot, where he aims at vehicles behind houses and through uh, bushes and trees that you cannot, you cannot see. Now you can, you can somehow see there's a vehicle behind that house. I'm not sure exactly how the cheat works, but it's as though he can see through the building and through the bushes and trees. See, you can see there's something there. Okay, you can see the smoke, but uh, look how he auto aims at it. He can even follow it while it's moving behind, behind the smoke and behind the building. That, that is possible to do without the aim bot. Granted, but it's... So he decides to ignore the valentine and uh, shoot at something coming through the bushes here that he cannot see. Here yeah, you can see the label or something and he shoots the crusader straight in the middle. Glancing around at the the labels, seeing whether you can see them. You can see there's a label there, although you can't see the vehicle. So he auto aims at it and he tests with his machine gun to see if he can got a clear line of fire and he shoots and he hits it in the middle. Although you can't see it. See that's that's what the aimbot cheat can do for you. Doing the same thing again, testing with the machine gun to see if there's a clear line of fire, but it's behind a rock or something. So he keeps doing this, he keeps testing. See he's following it using the aim bot, aiming at it. But the aim bot will aim at it even if it's behind a rock or behind some kind of obstacle. So he uses the machine gun to test whether it's got a line of fire and when he does he shoots it. He's, now look at, look at this, he's looking through the building. It's as though he's looking at the labels which we can only see in the replay or if you're using some kind of cheat. as though he's looking at the labels because you can't actually physically see any tanks through there. It's auto aiming. Fired while moving and just glanced off the top of that uh, tank. looking behind because you can probably see a label or something behind on the map or perhaps um, I don't actually know how the cheat works whether you can see it on the map or whether you can see the label um, by looking in that direction not sure what he's aiming at now I think he's looking behind him at that uh, at that enemy vehicle that's too far away to see decides to go for this uh, this valentine again he auto aims at it but it's behind the house he shoots at it anyway he's trying to shoot through the house at the label or at the auto aim point now you can see there's, there's an enemy tank moving there so he decides to shoot at it through the bushes he tracks it and shoots it in the middle through the bushes without seeing it watch this you can see the smoke, but he auto aims, fires through his own gun smoke and hits it in the middle again after moving. Okay, 
these two ten tanks are very well armored, so they have difficulty uh, penetrating each other. I think that's a Matilda, if I'm not wrong. Oh, it's a Valentine. Right, he auto aims at it through the bush and shoots it in the middle. Watch this. You can't see it, it's in the bush. He auto aims right in the middle. Mm -hmm. And now he's trying to shoot down planes, I think. He's auto aiming at the plane. I'm not sure if the um, aim bot actually uh, you know, tracks the the arcade aim marker for the plane, which of course is not visible in realistic battles. But you know the aiming assist marker that you have in arcade. I'm not sure whether the aimbot is able to uh, track that lead indicator, that's what I mean. Is able to track the lead indicator that is invisible in realistic battles. But it's visible in our field. So it is, it's as though the aimbot um, changes this from RB into arcade battles. Get some hits on the plane, but it uh, flies off. the labels but in arcade in a realistic battle you can't see the labels because this is not arcade. So it's behaving as though it can see through the buildings and see how that uh, enemy vehicle is moving and so he's positioning himself to get it as it comes around the building and he's auto aiming on it but the game ends before he can shoot it. So this is how you report a suspected cheater. You can put their, their username in the replays dialog and find a battle in which they notice them cheating. And when you when you click on the replay, the server replay for that battle, Fields of Normandy at that time, yes. 
beside the name there's an exclamation mark you click on it and you can report them for restricted modification which means uh, cheats so you type why you think uh, that they're cheating of course not not every case of um, really good shooting is due to to cheats but this is quite quite blatant and quite obvious and who can track vehicles through buildings and through bushes right so you explain why you think the person is cheating and below that you can also put in the approximate uh, time that the uh, cheat happened or that you notice the cheat you have to put in four digits and then you click on complain and it records your complaint. Now, I don't know whether they do anything about it, but this is something you could do.